Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I just wanted to show you how I put some really easy curls into my short hair. Obviously I'm not a hairstylist or anything like that, so this is gonna be really easy. I feel like there's so many different ways you can curl your hair, so I was like seeing how other people do it. I'm gonna link below to Kate Small Things and her channel and a few of her videos that like really break down how to curl your hair. I love watching her videos and she was the one that I watched like way back in the day to like officially learn how to curl my hair in the first place. Another great place I go for hair tutorials is Kaylee Melissa. So I'll link her channel down below too, but those are like my two favorite hair channels. Both of those ladies are like actual hairstylists. So they can explain kind of the ins and outs of everything. But this is what I do. It's really, really easy. It's going to be really like subtle curls. So this is what we're starting with. I washed my hair last night. That's what I tend to do is watch it the night before. What I usually do is put in like a serum or a leave-in conditioner or some kind of oil and then just let it air dry. So this is what we're working with. The first thing I'm gonna do is just brush it out. This is my wet brush. Obviously my hair is dry, but it obviously works both ways. Sometimes my part tends to fall here, which is like really off to the side. Sometimes it'll fall more towards the middle, which I feel like this is a more like modern place for it to be. I feel like this is where I usually put it. So this looks more like me and my hair to me, but also I feel like it's a little bit trendier right now to be a little bit more centered, even though this still isn't really the center. On me, I don't like a dead center part. I don't think it looks very nice. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of it on me. I feel like my head is like too small at the top and it just looks weird. Like I like to have a lot of volume up at the top of my hair. So I kind of just pick where I'm feeling like for that day. I think for today, I'm gonna go somewhere kind of in the middle, like right there. And what I'm gonna do is just brush it out. And my hair, I only ever brush it when it's wet or if I'm about to heat style it because it does not look cute when I brush it. Like I never understand how people can curl their hair and then fully brush it out and then have it look nice. Like my hair, it doesn't do that. Or at least I don't know a way to style my hair where it will do that. I'm gonna take like a halo section and this is something that I learned from Kate Brian from Kate Small Things. All I'm gonna do is like twist it up. So it's just like a halo section around my head. I'm just using these guys that I got at TJ Maxx to kind of clip it up. And so what I'm left with is my bottom layer and my little like used to be bangs section right here. I am using my one and a one and a quarter inch. I think it's one and a quarter inch. Infinity Pro by Conair. I got this at Target. I wanna say it was like 20 bucks or something. It was pretty affordable. I'm gonna take pretty big sections here. For my hair, I put the heat on 30, which is like as hot as it goes. That maybe is overkill, but I prefer to just have it on hot and then not hold it as long. I don't know if that's actually better, but I feel like it's faster. I'm just gonna put it in, close the clamp, and then spin it around. So I'm just like gently releasing the clamp and then I'm gonna just take it out and I'm gonna leave it in this shape for now. Eventually I'm gonna rough it up, but while I'm curling, I'm just gonna leave it in that like perfect curl kind of situation. So I really like using curling irons with a clamp. I feel like you can get a really similar look with a wand, but it's just a different technique. What I've heard about a curling iron versus a wand is a curling iron. It's obviously gonna be giving you heat from both sides because you've got the heat here and here. Sorry if my eyes are super red, by the way. I feel like especially this one, I've just like all of a sudden acquired fall allergies here in Virginia. Like I, <laughs> I went to the doctor and they're like, yeah, that happens in Virginia in the fall. And I'm like, what? My eyes are bright red and super itchy all the time. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay. That's basically the shape I'm going for. In the back, I don't worry about it too much, to be honest. So that's my first layer. And I'm gonna take down this top section here. Still have a lot of hair left <laughs> to do. Now what I do is I check the back with a mirror to see if I've missed anything. The reason why I am not gonna run my fingers through it now is so it cools kind of in this shape. 
Because I want it to be more of like a modern curl and less like a Shirley Temple curl, I am actually going to use a straightener to kind of get that look. It's the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Smooth Plus. This is all heated up now, so what I'm gonna do is take the ends and just go straight down. So a lot of times when I'm straightening my hair, I try to do it a little bit of a C shape. I'm not doing that with this. I'm just trying to make it straight. Let's see how much better that side looks than this side. Like it's just gonna help make it the shape that we're going for. At the back, I don't even really worry about it so much. It's like when you have short hair, it's like the back is what it is. So final touch. I am using the John Frieda Frizz Ease Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream. This is a product I have literally been using for probably like 10 years. You take the teeniest little bit and it will just make your hair shiny and it will just, I'm, I'm gonna put it through at my ends and I'm gonna put it through at my roots. It's not gonna make it greasy. It's just gonna make it look like everything that you did was on purpose. That's it. A lot of times I'll tuck it behind my ears. This is a really great base for like other hairstyles too. Like you can do like a half up with this and just have like the ends down. You can do like a fun little like braid with a barrette on the side. Easy, simple, everyday curls. So that is how I do it. Let me know down in the comments if you try this out. I would love it if you did try it and you showed me like pictures of how it worked for you. Um, that would be so cool. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you next time. Bye. I feel like my brush is gross. Yeah. It's in it preemptively clean out my hairbrush before this video. There's hair all over it. Alright, I'm like itchy. Uh, no. I just burned my arm. How's it going? On my hair? Yeah. It's good. Bored. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh my god, I really burned my arm. So, oh, <laughs> like way over here.